Hi. Good to know. I've been living in the children's clinic for a long time now. I've seen a lot, and I can tell you all about some of the things I have experienced. Hi. I'm Anna. I have to be examined because I've been feeling so tired lately. I even fell down at school once. And that wasn't funny at all. The doctors don't know what caused that yet. I am a little afraid of the clinic and of being examined. They want to do a lumbar puncture on me. It would be good to know what this really is. Hi. You called me? So here I am. If inflammatory and other types of illnesses of the nervous system are suspected, that's to say illnesses of the cerebral membranes or brain, it's not enough to just do a blood examination. Our brain and our spinal cord are surrounded by spinal fluid, the so-called liquor. This fluid protects and nourishes our nerve cells. And it gives doctors a unique opportunity of detecting illnesses of the nervous system. Or to give medication that should act directly on the nervous system. That's all good and well, but it's rather difficult to get to the brain, isn't it? Yes. That's why they use a long hollow needle at the lower part of the back. Hence the name lumbar puncture. From the Latin word lumbus, which means loin, and punctio, meaning to prick. I should have paid more attention during Latin lessons. And this is how it's done. For small children, lying down. Otherwise, sitting. The important thing is, the back must be arched. Like a cat's arched back. Exactly. It's best you try to relax and be at ease. In that way, it will be possible to penetrate with the needle properly between the vertebrae. But isn't that dangerous? Isn't that the spinal cord? Well, the puncture is made between the third and fifth lumbar vertebrae. By that point, the spinal cord has already ended and can no longer be injured by the needle. The doctor feels with his fingers along the spine and the pelvis in order to find the right spot. He then marks the spot with his fingernail. This spot is disinfected thoroughly. The disinfection process takes quite a long time because the spot must be very clean so that no germs can get into the body. The needle is really quite long. Yeah, it has to be long and thin so that one can get to the spinal fluid. The doctor is now attaching the syringe. Oh, ow and some drops of spinal fluid, liquor, are let out. Isn't that terribly painful? Actually, you only feel the needle pricking the skin. The wonder cream smeared on your back takes care of the pain. Your skin feels like it has gone to sleep. And if you like, the doctor can also give you a sedative. A sedative? Yes, that will make you drowsy, and afterwards you won't know exactly what really happened. The needle is then removed. You might feel that a little bit. Finally, they will apply a pressure bandage to the spot. This will be taken off the next day. Sometimes, a diagnosis can be made right there, at first glance. More thorough investigations are, however, done in a lab. So lumbar punctures are very helpful when it comes to detecting illnesses. Yes, or when injecting medicines against those diseases directly into the spinal fluid. But it's still an unpleasant procedure, isn't it? It is unpleasant. That's why there's always a friendly nurse by your side. She will hold you firmly and help you stay in the right position. Does she also take care of what happens behind my arched back? Yes, of course. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear that. What else do I need to know? On the day of the examination, you will be given a room in the clinic. How come? Because you will have to spend a night there. The doctors want to be sure that you are fine after the procedure and that you don't have any pain. Young children like to bring their cuddly toys, cuddly blankets, or parents along. Oh, by the way, parents are not allowed to be present during the examination. Why not? Due to hygiene. Everyone walks around wearing gloves, a white gown, and a mask in order not to transmit any diseases. Approximately one hour before the start of the procedure, the nurse will come to you. She will apply the wonder cream at the spot on your back and stick a plaster over it. So that I don't feel the prick so much later. Yes, exactly. 
She will take care of you throughout the examination. She will hold you while the two doctors examine you, and she will make sure that you're okay. After a few minutes, everything will be over. And all this excitement just for that. It's really good to know what you can expect. Okay, then I'll start practicing how to make an arched back. Yes, great idea. Good to know. 